the National Brass Band Festival at the Crystal Palace brings 5,000 bandsmen from all over England to London, ready to fill the air with sweet music in their efforts to win the 1,000 guinea trophy. The judges are placed in a closed tent to hear this year's test piece, Pride of Race, a Jubilee Suite by Kenneth Wright. To few people in a lifetime comes the chance of seeing such a gigantic blaze as the funeral pyre of the Crystal Palace, the proudest building of the last century, one of the few remaining links with Queen Victoria and Prince Albert. Built in 1851 in Hyde Park for the Great Exhibition, opened in royal state by the Queen and the Prince Concert, it was later transferred to its present site in what was then the rural outskirts of London. In 1913 it became the property of the nation, was used as a naval training school during the war, and reopened to the public by Their Majesties King George and Queen Mary 16 years ago was once spoken of by Thackeray as a blazing arch of lucid glass, and that description was never truer than tonight. At about eight o'clock, the fire started at the Sydenham end. Within five minutes, it was blazing. The palace firemen did what they could, but it was obviously hopeless, and all the might of London's firefighting equipment can do little more than delay the inevitable destruction. Everything is against them. Across the high ground, the wind blows freshly from the northwest, driving the flames before it. Firemen work unceasingly. Miles of hose are unreeled. Water towers go up. High-pressure pumps roar but all in vain, the palace is doomed. As the great glow lights the evening sky, every available means of transport brings the watchers in their tens of thousands. And is it worth it? Flames roaring up 150 feet, such heat that people in neighboring houses are unable to look out of their windows. Masses of molten glass pouring down continuously. Finally, the huge skeleton of ironwork twisting and falling. Hold your breath! For 85 years, the Crystal Palace has been a playground and a landmark of London. We mourn its loss. 